this quarterfinal, trying to make it to the semi-final here, as they are uh, both going to be looking to, after a good show performance in the first round of the season 3-2-0 as they look to, to get the things going. We are going to get right into the game. It's going to be Noxious, Razor, Squeak, Silk, and Red Express, Hive, Sinclair, College, Blinn College, and that Sky Sniper, Sons of Halleck, Red Gene, and Hooks. And it looks like they just took this first point right back. Blinn not going down without a fight. Looking at the alts right now, things are looking relatively even. Blinn actually in the lead. Yeah, Blinn will have the lead. Both teams playing the uh, exact same team song, the Wrecking Ball song here on this map. As the who's gonna get the first pick in Sunset? We'll get Tanka, Fine Oxus, we'll be able to stay alive. We think that it's time to take a lot of space to try and get these boards out. Squeak will that ultimate. Nice pulse bomb by a Razor. That's gonna give Squeak also a kill onto Howl. It's a great start to the fight. Four six players, they've got to take this one slowly. It should be there. The Noxious takes down us. The regime's gonna fall as well. A beautiful free fight from the Saints, and they take the this point back. Back and now, let's see how far they can take this. They have two alts on their uh, bars right now. It's gonna be Soaks and Red X. Those are more elements keeping everybody nice, healthy, nail and notches. That's gonna give this thing player a lot of time to work with here on this point. As that's a huge, huge kill without the Widowmaker. So much killing power is a loss here. You can see Noxious already working towards that second ultimate. Sunset yet to get his first and no we both support ultimates of the here for St. Clair. Wall is going to be used up nice and early here for Blin. Give them some information on where they want to hit here. They're going to mark out the Richmond Ball Street. Sitting on the point, stalling. Now he goes on the clock. Who has this for a run? So he's taking a lot of damage for the back up. And now how he's going to look to go into the back and get a nice boost. Doesn't get the slam though. A little bit of trouble, but in the meantime, Blin did flip the point. They have control Noxious. A bit out of position. He's gonna get taken oh. down. The Trank is just not in time there. But Squeak and Noxious on the flip side find a couple of picks. Things get the point back. Squeak gets one more. Reddick does fall, but this Widowmaker shouldn't have too much life left. And they're gonna get taken down by a nice melee there from Razor. It's another team fight went from the Saints to look to take the round. Very good so far. I mean, look at Squeak taking so much ground here on this wrecking ball. Oh, flying him in every single inch. He has the ultimate ready up there in the front line. Looking things in space. So, he's the standalone bastion on this point. Making sure that he can test it for as long as they want. We're in the overtime now. If St. Clair can just hold it right here, they pop the ultimate on the wrecking ball. Hopefully that should give them fight control. Now the Juno Red X going in here, keeping everybody nice and healthy. But the point is going to flip over the control. Yeah, it's a good fight from Blinn, but they do lose a member early on, so let's see if Saints play the 5 before and Noxious is going to look for the open pick here and find anything just to see Samba just to be spawned because that overtime it took so long for the respawn timers and with the Wrecking Ball falling, I mean, Saints they got a huge, huge advantage here. They find a couple picks from Razor, great job there, so it does fall down. The Trank is pretty good from Blinn, so they need to find kills and find them quickly, and they aren't able to do so now as the Trank runs out, the Saints should have pretty easy cleanup. Noxious finds it. Couple headshots there. Hunter the Demon Sunset. He's gonna pick out Hodge St. Clair. Looking to get the point back. One, two more members here left from the Lynn College. Trying to stay alive here with Sky Sniper Fall. Halleck Falls. And it's going to be the first round going over to St. Clair. First round going over to St. Clair, but it's not a very uh, one sided round by any means. I mean, 98 to 100%. That's as competitive as it can get. And when you look at the history these two teams have had, you can't see it going any other way. In fact, in the regular season, Lynn College beat St. Clair 3-2. So St. Clair is looking through something here. They want to try and get a win on Lynn. Yeah, they're definitely going to try their absolute hardest to get this win. You know, want some sweet, sweet revenge. And heading into this next round, I mean, look at the team compositions. It's going to be pretty different from the look of things. Actually... Finally, Squeak does go over to the Orisa, but it's going to be a Genji Mei on, and on the side of Blitz, they're going to have a Widowmaker, so Gal's going to be on Sunset here to kind of buy these picks and win the round first game. Yeah, Sunset and Mei are going to be those different chances there. Red X moving in to see everybody up. A well done Mei ball on this map in front of the Jackson. He's going to be trying to rush them down. 
they are looking to take initial control of the point. They have them on the grid, all lined up. Cross, nice spear comes through. Gonna slow that one right down. Looking at the same thing. A little bit scattered, a little bit separated, but if you find an opening pick here, things should be looking up. Yeah, I really think that's what we see when nobody's gonna fall this way. Make sure it's still untouched for long. More on time, that would make sure it's more dangerous it is, but how is gonna get taken down? That natural wall definitely plays part in that. Now, Steve should be able to kill this break. Sunset falls down, and he's seen player playing beautiful Overwatch to start this series. Sky Sniper should be next to Bond. He's the only Hush left alive. He will try and pick onto Reddit, but does fall down in the meantime. But nonetheless, it's a great team fight from St. Clair. They're getting closer to and close to their ultimate as Sunset switches over to the Ash. Yeah, the Ash is back, which is relatively interesting here. You know, we can try take a little bit more area over A little bit more in that middle range. But wow, you don't want to get close to that Arisa. That is going to sting. And now Razor going in on the back line. Looks like he's going to take that one down. Oh. Guys like your team find two. Razor though going in with that Juno ult. Keeping them all up and alive. And wow, this play is going disastrously for Blind College. St. Clair has isolated the Arisa. and looking to take it down. Yeah, St. Clair have no fewers left alive. You can see Hutch though alongside the regime. They're going to get a bit overconfident here. They're going to try and push the Arisa and down those Hutch. Which means St. Clair, they have a lot more feeling left right now. They should try and get all this point split as soon as possible. Jim is gonna play on the point, trying to deny that one. But Razor is here for contest. Nice spear from Alex. St. Clair trying to move quickly. So much damage dealt to that Ash. I'm not sure how she even survived. But with that Brick Rally, she will try for a little longer. Jim will take it off on the false point. May will use as well. Regime on 1 HP he needs to die here. He does. We find the pick on to Halleck. It's a great fight again from the Saints. They do invest to be ultimate into that one to clean that one up. But if they do, they're able to do so. They take the point back as the points keep, keep, keep counting up and up. Exactly. And now, sure, Blue College did get a good boost there, but they were never really in control of that point. It was more St. Clair ignoring the point, going for the kill, trying to control the pacing of the game rather than the point itself. But still, St. Clair oh, further into the lead. Beautiful shot by Noxus. And that's going to be a great start to be like for the players in there. No giant blades. They're going to use the whistle as well. That's not a good play. They use the bomb too. I mean, Blinn College just are not making the right play here when you use your Genji Dragon Blade so early on from a great shot with Noxious. You just have to take your losses and accept the fact that you got to reset and use your ultimate next time now. I mean, it's just Dragon Blade to Dragon Blade. Yes, Hush is closer to that Juno ultimate, but same player from that one team fight put them from the fine position to the first map. Yeah, and they have them trapped up here in this wall. Both Arisa's bouncing their blades across each other. Goes to one max spear. 90% is going to be crossed here. Razor going in on that dragon blade. Aluki getting one, but Sky Cyber gets one right back. So it's getting one. It just trades and trades across the board here. The Juno ult also being popped. Blind College throwing everything they can at the wall. And the Saints give up the point. They're not going to give up their lives. Yeah, I mean, that Juno ultimate secures the team by win four. The side of the player is Blind. Use a couple ultimates to win down. They're gonna switch over to the Charger now instead of the Genji. So, gonna be a bit of team composition differential here. Rain is used. That's a huge dynamite from Sunset. They gave to stay alive through the initial push. Razor gonna fall down, but Alice falls on the flip side. No tank now. Huge Arisa wow. ultimate from Squeak. Picks up a couple. Is gonna get on the point. And down goes Sky Sniper. It's only the Juno left. Forced to touch here. Hutch is gonna fly in. Red X also has that Juno ultimate ready. 15 player kill streak for Squeak of St. Clair. Take map one and start off the series with a bang. Starting off in a bang in not a small way, especially when these teams have been so closely tied together. And I mean, this is how you want to start things off if you do the other St. Clair. I mean, you've lost the Blade College before, you don't want to lose again. I mean, it looked like on the mirror compositions, like St. Clair just looked a lot better. Yes, they did give up the point here and there, but once you give up the point to win the team fight, I mean, that's a very, very good uh, good trade. You win the team fight, you take the point back, you take some more space, you get your ultimates. And I mean, the ultimate economy from St. Clair was definitely a lot better than Blin. Blin a couple of times. Just use their ultimates when they shouldn't. And, you know, in a game mode like that, using your ultimate at the wrong time, could cost you the entire map, so off the back of some misplays from Blinn and great play from St. Clair, it was just a great map from them overall. 
I have to agree with you right there, Theo, but you could definitely tell the Saints were in control. Cool, calm, and collected through that entire series, but closer to the end, Lynn started to lose it. They're throwing any all everything they could to get any advantage, but they were not calculating it properly. It was not the right timing. They were just trying, trying, trying to break through there. And, you know, props to them. You're down and out. You might as well try whatever you can get. But now, going into this next map, I'd like to see them fall back, relax a little bit, and go back to that tactical mindset. Yeah, I mean, St. Clair isn't giving them much room to breathe with. We saw two different team compositions come out on the map. Both teams played mirrors. They played the Wrecking Ball and the Orissa composition. And uh, St. Clair just looked a little bit better in both. So I'm definitely interested about what map we're going to be going to because it seemed like on the dive, St. Clair it was a tiny bit better. It was really close in that first round, but St. Clair were in the end better. And, you know, in the Orissa mirror, I think they were quite a lot stronger as well. So, I mean, I think Saints are going to be happy with any map, but it's definitely on blend with the map choice here. They have to pick something they're very practiced on. For sure. Now, because of so much uh, casting of the Activision Blizzard League, I can't quite remember which first point it's going to be. If it's Flashpoint or if it's going to be uh, oh, Payload Map. Yeah, there it is. It's Payload. That's nice. So here it is. Payload Map. It's going to be Kings of Rome. Payload always a little bit more of a contentious game mode. It's tough if you can get to that first point. This is where teams are made and broken. You can't have a good table map. Noxious, highlighting the venture, which is a very interesting test. I think Noxious should 100% play Widowmaker on this map. I mean, in this current meta, Widowmaker can get so much value in the player with the skill of Noxious. I'd be very surprised if he wasn't on the Widowmaker for this map and it's going to be a Razor as well now. He's gonna be on as a player. I think that's just the start. They go for a little boot shot and it doesn't look like he's gonna stay on the Terra. Sunset will get the initial pick onto Red X. So St. Clair's push. Not gonna get going for a while here. As you said, Blin coming down here. I think having the Widowmaker instead of the May is a good compositional advantage for the side of Blin, but if Sunset is not hitting those shots, if you get on Redick there, it's gonna be a rough match. That's all uh, riding on that Widow today. You gotta try and make it work where you can. Darn this to break through and sweep and Razor all getting low noxious. He's just barely getting out, but May is not your prime here, but I guess we need to go out and kill after it pops out of the eyes. Something that happened with it was gonna go down, and now St. Clair just bursting on through onto the site. It's gonna be an easy team by win here from the Saints. They pick up a regime early on, and, and it's gonna be St. Clair taking as the initial fight. A good job from them there. The May was very crucial, was able to stay alive for such a long time. I mean, I did not expect the May to survive there, but Squeak kind of came in there on the tank, tried to body block as much damage as possible, and off the back of the initial pick, St. Clair had to roll over their opponent to try to get their up. Some space. Like, you know, Blink College doesn't want to first push past this choke. Blink was very clear, lands a good spear, but without the rest of the team here, I'm kind of in a little bit of a bad position. St. Clair bursts in on the team, like right here. It's going to be disastrous. Moving in on the back line, there's nowhere for them to go. Looks like Razor's going to go in on the Widow. Needs to land one more shirt and get the dash. Now you're back out as Juno. Things are not looking great for Blink College, but things are looking very good for St. Clair. Yeah, I mean, with this me pick, St. Clair are playing a lot, a lot more aggressive than Lin, and they use that May wall to wall off the Widowmaker, so no initial picks come through, and then after the Widowmaker grapples up onto the high ground, Noxious gets some easy, easy money, goes up there, finds the kill, it's another great team fight for St. Clair, now you take a look at the ultimate, Lin do have their new ultimate, they have the Barrage and the Aris ultimate, definitely want to see that Aris ultimate, Combined with that Barrage, St. Clair and the May Ultimate, a rally, and the original thing on their own house. Looking to push in, trying to stop him. Squeak the Ultimate comes out. The Barrage isn't coming through just yet. The kill not coming through on either side, but it looks like 
on very, very low. Does he even stay alive? So he uses that rally. The barrage though will nuke that break. The trade though comes through on the sky sniper. One HP left on the squeeze. The heals from Reddit's look up to and he's getting very close to his Juno ultimate here. If Reddit can get that one by farming it off of Squeak, that's gonna be a win con first I think Sarah Regime uses that rally now for the Saints as there's gonna be an ult coming in everywhere the ring comes through it's gonna be Reddick falling down they do find the trade onto Regime but without your Juno there's gonna be a lost team fight here for the Saints yeah the Saints losing a team fight finally though I'm sure Blingall is feeling very good about that you want to try and stop the Saints momentum where you can and this is where you want to stop it wait before that first checkpoint because once you get that, it's really hard to stop the cart. Now, they're back in position, back for that first choke, and a lot of room to play with. Looking like a Blin might be able to hold them here. Three minutes left on the clock. There's still a lot of time for St. Clair to turn the tides. They have that Juno ult to play with. And time things right, I'm sure they can take this one. Yeah, they should try and use the Juno ult before Sunset's able to get this Bob up. He's at 93 in county, and looks like the Bob will be ready. Radix has that Juno ultimate ready to go. It is going to be used, and they find the Pharah immediately. It's a great start to the fight. They take out the Bob instantly. They take down Sunset. No DPS, no supports left here for the side of Blaine College. It's an absolute dominant team fight from St. Clair. They're going to be able to cap the second point and now they're going to have more than enough time, three and a half minutes to try and close out the map. That is so much time to close out this last choke point. I mean, St. Clair eerily closing in on Blinn College's last bastion of hope here. Let's see, Sky Sniper going in with this Farah, getting a lot of good burst damage. I think it really doesn't have an answer for this fair. They don't have any hit scan, they don't have anything that can really knock it out of the sky. Just hoping Genji can close oh. the gap. But wow, Sky Sniper just gonna absolutely snipe Razor. And that's a great team fight win for Blitz Sinclair. Gonna use the May Ultimate in that one. There's not much to freeze anyway on the side of Blitz, so not the end of the world, but. They did use the Juno ultimate in Blink College, so that's kind of like the main key ultimate in this team comp. If that ultimate's not ready for one side and it's ready for the other, the team with the ultimate's definitely favored in these team fights. And St. Clair, I mean, they have three ultimates, they're working on that Juno ultimate, but Blit on their own ultimates, they're gonna have the Barrage Arissa combo, which is definitely a good way to win a team. Yeah, I've seen Noxious switch off of that May over to the Cassidy, which is an absolutely brilliant decision. You want something that can try and deal with this Thera. Well, the fight's gonna start off very, very quickly. Halleck isn't gonna go 2 2 deep, Razor 1 HP. We'll be able to stay alive. No ultimate burn from either team there. Just a big, big push from Blinn, but it is withstood from Sinclair still. Good job by Blin putting on the pressure and now they're gonna be going in. Where's the barrage? Is it gonna come in? No, this is gonna be the dry Arissa ultimate and on the flip side, Saints trying to flip the map. They pick up one kill onto Hudge. Sky Sniper goes down. Noxious able to stay alive on one HP. Gonna be outputting DPS from the backline. His Razor is in the enemy backline. Will find a couple picks there. Noxious does fall this brig. Did use Rally. That's a crucial ultimate to use in a fight where you're losing. It's a nice 5-4-1 team fight for the side Saint Clair's Blin. They switch over to the Widowmaker here. Sunset going for one last ditch effort, a little bit of a Hail Mary. If you can get a few headshots here, if you can snipe that Genji out of the sky, you will be looking good. And yeah, that Farah does have the ultimate. It's going to be very, very scary pushing in here. Yeah, so it's going to sprint to the back line. The Mirage is used deep into the air. It's going to get no, no value, but Razor used the Dragon Blade, but not able to find a kill. And Soaks going way too deep. Going to take it as well. Halloc does fall down, which allows Saints to take a bit more space here, but I doubt they'll be able to close out the map on this push. They're missing a couple members. I wouldn't be surprised if they just choose to kind of leave this one back up and go for a quick reset. So it's a good hold again from Blin, and now they've got the time bank down to only one minute. Yeah. Time down to one minute. It's going to be Sinclair making one last mad dash for this point. Not in the overtime just yet. Right now, Sky Sniper is trying to make something work here on the Genji. You don't have an ultimate. We have the High Noon being popped, though, from the Cassidy. Can it get any util? No, it will not. Luke shutting that one down. And Reddick's going to fall down 98% to the Juno with Red Saints. Just gonna quickly reset, they know they can't win this team fight. I like that play from Squeak, because with only 25 seconds and taking, you only have so much time to play with. 
It's gonna be Redix who has that Juno ultimate ready for this team fight. You're gonna see Noxious switch over back to the May. I mean, I don't think a Widowmaker pick here for the fast fight would have been too bad from them, but it's gonna be all on Redix here. If he gets headshot by Sunset, this team fight's instantly over. Sunset not able to find the flick there for a second. They're taking the same team to get a touch on the point. The rest ultimate gonna come out. Can't see Clay get a touch? Yes, they do. But this this rest ultimate is causing a lot of danger. Red is gonna find the initial pick though. They pop the Juno ultimate as well, and St. Clair are just Looking to cap the map. Is anyone from Blind gonna touch? One meter away, nobody oh. from Blind wants to go near the point. I mean, St. Clair, they get the map finish. It took them a lot of time. That third point is so hard to cap when they get the full cap. They put themselves in a great position to take up two lead in the series. Yeah, they're taking a good lead in the series, and honestly, that just they just took it right <laughs> under their noses yeah. there. No one was able to touch. I mean, the Eraser was so preoccupied with getting that May when Nobody's the rest of the entire that. team was over on the other side of the map, winning the game. And now Blinn College has to do the gargantuan task of taking that payload from one end to the other. Yeah, I mean, yeah, St. Clair sorry, just so showed us how to do it. Happening. And now it's going to be yeah, on the Blinn. It's gonna be interesting. Do they decide to play the Widowmaker Farah type of composition? I mean, it worked okay. I feel like on that last point, I mean, it worked very well. But for the first few, I mean, it just didn't look too too good from them. Saint Clair, you can see Noxious on the Cassidy again. He's not wanting to play this Widowmaker on this map. Which is uh, not a bad idea against the Farah. I mean, Cassidy is more uh, more sustained damage here. So interesting team comps and you know Razor. Has uh, been having a great, great match so far on this game. You're gonna stick to that one. Squeak on the Orisa, pretty standard stuff. But no, I mean, I don't think this is what they're gonna roll out, out, roll out on. I mean, if they really, if they really want to spice things up and go for a Winston Zignata, I mean, that is a, that is a composition for the other. They're gonna drop the Winston bubble on the with Widowmaker. Yeah, yeah they're gonna switch back over, but they are gonna be playing the Farah variation again. Vera, Vera here. Sunset trying to get those snipes once again on the Widow. Sky Sniper getting a lot of damage in on this Farah, landing those shots on the Eraser. It's going to be key here. Alt going oh. on the back line. Zane's a little bit scattered. Just getting bounced around here. Squeak not able to do all too much. Yeah, Noxious Fung Down gives this Farah completely free reign. Nobody can really slow her down. As Alec going to try and slow down Razor from killing his supports. We'll be able to do so. It's a very easy, very clean take here from the side of Blin. I mean, what happened there was the Sky Sniper showed his face. Noxious saw that the fair is a bit overextended, tried to go for the kill, but in doing that, Hallwook on the other side was just able to shut him down very, very quickly. So, great start to the map for Blin College. But now St. Clair switch over to the May, and on this point, on this exact choke, May is so strong that May Wall can find so much value. Wouldn't be surprised if the Saints hold here for like a minute or two, but then when that fair gets in this barrage, I mean, it's gonna be pretty scary times. Definitely, yeah, that is going to be the icebreaker that breaks them through this monumental iceberg. That is May, and now the stun comes out. They're trying to get rid of that May as soon as they can. Razor finding one sunset on the upper lane. They're trying to isolate that soaks and they got him. Haluk just going berserk here on this point through the Juno ult as well. Everyone's just going to fall down. St. Clair showing little to no resistance. But they do get a couple key ultimates out from Blinn College. They get the Juno ultimate, they get the Aris ultimate, and they invested absolutely nothing of their own. So it was a, a good team fight with from Blinn, but St. Clair are also going to be happy with that outcome. I don't know if you guys saw, but early in that team fight, the Farah, Sky Sniper was on a huge flank. Nobody from St. Clair was able to spot that one out, and I think that definitely led to some disruption. But now with four and a half minutes, a huge time bank for Blin. I mean, St. Clair are going to need to make some key stops in this part of the map if they want to take it. It's all made and broken. Sunset going to take down the Soak Squeak going for a big ult, oh, getting them huge. all down. Red X getting a double kill. Just a few more remain. This is where St. Clair gets the momentum back, putting a stop to Blinn College. But is it too late? I mean, they need to try and get this Orisa. Here's an iconic Orisa battle. They're just That's blasting right. each other, waiting for cooldowns to pop. And it looks like Squeak wins. Yeah, good fight from St. Clair. I mean, Soaks. Shouldn't get caught out like that, but doesn't Sinclair realize that they, if they don't go right away, they're gonna lose this fight. A nice ultimate from Squeak, Reddix follows up with an ultimate of his own.
They take the team for this flank again from the fair. I mean, we've seen it happen once, I think, this time. They should have a sneaking suspicion that they don't see a fair anywhere, but I don't think they realize the fair is now on the point, pushing it forward. Razor finds the initial pick onto Ash, though, so I'm not sure how that even happened. It's a good start to the fight for Sinclair. Blin can't really push in without their Genji. I mean, if they make the mistake of trying to go 4v5 and using their ultimates and losing, this will cost them the entire map. But it looks like St. Clair are going to be the ones pushing in. So use that ultimate. Sky Sniper falls before he can do anything. All the ultimates dropping here from St. Clair. They're playing super, super aggressive high tempo. They're going to find all the kills. They're just using these ultimates before Blin College can use ultimates of their own. Now they only have the Dragon Blade, but yet again, they've rotated enough time that they have the Orisa ultimate and the Juno ultimate, which won them the fight last time, and since that time, Fair has been barraged once. That's absolutely brilliant. I mean, Blin has all the ultimates they need to break through this next point. St. Clair is going to have to do a lot of work with this Dragon Blade and the other ultimates as oh, well. This might be it. There it is. Lining it up. Can't get too much value. Oh. They're going in on the Dragon Blade. Quick reflect, but can't get all too much value out of it. I mean, it's a two for two at the moment. If they can pick up this Pharah, can Reddix find the shots here? Oh, what a shot by Sky Sniper. That's wow. going to them the team fight. Great job on this Pharah. That was a very close fight. Razor picks up one. Can he pick up the Pharah? No. I mean, Sky Sniper hitting some crucial direct rockets. If Reddix is able to find that trade onto Sky Sniper, St. Clair, I think, win that team fight. And now it's going to be blend with a couple of their DPS ultimates. St. Clair, not even close to anything that may ultimate. Now going to be too valuable against a team comp of Blin. And it looks like with a minute 45, this should definitely be the cap coming through from Blin in this next team. Play. With a Pharah running amok like this, I'm really surprised Razor isn't going or not just either of them aren't going on that Widow. But now there's a big blitz on this site. Bob on the cart, pushing closer and closer. Uh, no Bob. one can contest May and try and stall things out for a few more seconds, but it's not going to be worth it. That's going to be a hitting that second checkpoint in no time. I mean, a trade does come out from Razor, and they do force the Pharah to use her ultimate, but it was a very easy team fight from the side of Blade. They just throw down that Bob and St. Clair with their team comp. They do not have the damage to burn through the Bob. Yeah, I mean, this Pharah is causing a bit of havoc, but St. Clair, 2 minutes 30, need a strong hold here on this third point to try and take this map. Blade definitely turned it up a notch and are playing a lot better, putting themselves in a position to win the match. They are looking to be the victors here. Maybe they can take it all the way, but it's going to take a miracle for St. Clair oh. to stop it right here before they can bring it all the way. Big shots from the Ash. Razor being pushed back all the way, separated from the team. Guy Sniper once again just getting those key picks. Yeah, folks having a bit of a rough second round here on this. Vegas. We're going to see a bunch of ultimates spammed in by the Saints. Reddix going to find the opening pick on this guy Sniper long. Side Razor. This ultimate gonna come from Halleck though. Noxious cannot uh, cover up. Reddit's gonna fall down. Razor gets a kill with the ultimate, but it's gonna be a clean team fight here from the side of Blind College. They take it, they have a couple ultimates to work with. We're gonna see Soaks on Zenyatta. And he's going back to spawn to switch that one up. That's a risky play here, but no, Soaks is staying on that Zenyatta. I do not hate this pick. A lot of room to work with here on this last point. Sunset though, will be able to spot out Soaks lands the dynamite, the blob. I don't know if that's the best blob. I think it's hiding in that back room. It's not going to get any damage off. A big misplay here from Blin as Soaks looks for the 1-1 one -one against the Ash. Just looking to stay alive. He's not going to be able to do so as the kills come through for Blin College. It's a great team fight from them. Can they cap with over one one minute if they do then they have a chance to win this map and they're gonna be able to do so wow so worst case scenario for blind they win the map uh, they, they tie the map best case scenario they have a minute to take it all home yeah this is not looking good for st Clair. they have a lot of work to do lynn has everything they need and more wow i don't know how st Clair is feeling i mean you feel like you did a good job when you start out on the attack, you take it all the way home. But when Glenn shows you up like that with a minute to spare, you gotta try and hunker down and then figure out what went wrong. How can you shut down the fair? How can you shut down those key plays that Blin was doing? Yeah, a couple misplays here and there from St. Clair, but overall just a great round from Blin there. Take that one home and now you can see Noxious. Again, starting the defense off on the Cassidy, which is what they did last time. But Blin, they have a minute to work with. They they can throw in some 
crazy wacky team call that Sinclair just won't be ready for. You know, a double sniper. I don't think they're gonna actually roll out on the double sniper. I think Sunset would definitely stay on the Widowmaker, has found a lot of success on it, but it's a very risky team comp, this kind of team comp. Um, they should be going back over to the Orisa, most likely, if uh, just after this first bubble. But nobody from Sinclair should really be peeking anywhere near this door. That's a big mistake to make here. Let's see, Sunset is spotted out. As you see the swaps come through, yeah, they're gonna play the same comp they've been playing. They have a minute to get the job done. That's more than enough time for them to take it all the way home here. They just need to catch one little bit of the point. Let's see if they can do it. We took a lot of poke there. Wasn't able to push up too far. Razor, a bit out of position. He's taking down to 1 HP. Is able to stay alive though, but it is Blin taking a lot of space here. Let's see who finds the opening pick here. It's gonna be Razor taken down by Sunset Noxious. Forced to go for a huge flank. Won't find anything. And that's a good, good start for Blin. Regimes on 1 HP. Can they find the break? They do. That's a great, great trade. They're gonna have a lot of sustain here if Squeak can stay alive. But Sunset on the flip side finds a 3 on the Widowmaker. And that's gonna give Blin college of the map just like that we're tied 1-1 in the series 1-1 in the series and i wouldn't have guessed that with how dominant the saints were on the king of the hill game mode here hutch just playing absolutely amazing on this support i mean that juno basically won them the game right here yeah hutch played great huge picks there from sunset when it mattered most in that final round series is tied at 1-1 i mean we're back to even now 